What's up, guys? It's DJ Mighty Iris. Time for another segment of the Dream Warrior podcast. Happy Monday, by the way. Haven't had a dream in a long time. Okay, so last night I dreamt that I met Morrissey. And I know exactly why I dreamt of him. Because yesterday I got the chance to have like a FaceTime conversation with uh, my local musician, dear friend, Josh Martinez. Shout out to Google Duo. Never even heard of that feature before, but I have it now. So yeah, we talked about new music, what we've been up to, what we've been listening to. And he mentioned Morrissey had a new album. And I was like, what? What? When did that happen? So I know that's why I had this dream. I also started listening to some of it. It was pretty good so far. Oh, by the by. I need to write a really hip monologue to introduce these dream segments. Kind of like Sean Evans has on his Hot Ones interviews. Something like, I don't know, this is the place where dreams are not judged or, you know, judgment does not exist in this dream podcast. Yes, sensei! But not exactly like that because that's very Cobra Kai. All right, let's get to the dream. Let's dive right in. So in the dream, I'm at a bus station trying to get home. It looks like an underground train station or subway. And I hear people talking about Morrissey being in town doing press for his album, right? So Raul picks me up in a company van and we start driving to get out of the parking lot. It's nightfall. Why am I talking like that? Okay, never mind. Um, It's nighttime. So we're driving in the parking lot and I see Morrissey walking by himself. And I begged Raul to pull over so I could take a photo with him. And Raul's like in this hangry, grumpy state because he had to come pick me up. And, you know, it was a lot of trouble, apparently. But he still stopped the van. So I get out real quick and I start speed walking over to Morrissey. And he had just taken a selfie with some girl. So she's walking away. And I was like, hi, uh, can I please take a photo with you? And he was like, oh, real quick so it doesn't draw too much attention. My British accent is not good. So we walk together into this uh, warehouse venue and he walks over to his press area. There's like a six foot white table there. And I try to get my phone ready because it's slow when I need it the most. And he's a little bit taller than me. And I'm short. I'm 4'11". I'm sure he's a tall dude. He seems tall. So uh, he wants to stand on my left side and I have my phone on selfie mode and I'm having trouble getting us both into the frame because he's on my left, but he's posing with the right side of his face. It was really weird. And as we're posing, a few people notice and start walking up to us. I'm like, oh, great. And a small line of like four people is forming. So I took the photo and it came out with more his face than mine. I'm hardly in the picture at all. And I showed him and I asked if I could try one more. And so then I put it on regular camera mode and put the flash on. And then he was like, first, get him out of here. And he pointed to some young guy with big glasses, like snapping photos like paparazzi. So we all yelled at him to go away. And that's when I I start realizing like, man, I'm taking up too much of his time. So then I tell him, you know what, go ahead and take the photo with the next person. This, This is fine. He side hugged me and I started to walk away. And then I turned around and I started walking back to his table. And I said, hey, um, before I go, is there anything I can do for you, you know, for drawing so much attention towards you? Can I get you a drink? Because you always want to buy a drink for a superstar when you're starstruck. And I felt bad, you know. So then he told me to stay a minute and have a drink with him. He had this fancy glass canter with vodka and ice. And then he asked me if I could track down an eight ball for him. And I, I stood there like staring at him and I was thinking and then I knew who to call. So I walked to a quiet area and I looked for the M's in my phone. One of my besties, Marcus, was a dealer in my dream. Sorry, Marcus. Marcus. And I ended up dialing Raul on accident and he sounded so irritated because I wasn't back in the van yet and he was starving and he just wanted to go home and eat and I told him I just want to find someone to bring Morrissey an eight ball and I'll be right out and I had a flip phone too so I closed it and then I looked over at Morrissey and he was alone now and then he walked over to a drum set and started playing my favorite Sisters of Mercy song with some band. It wasn't Sisters of Mercy it was just some other band names. And it sounded so loud and so good. And I'm singing along to it as I'm walking towards him to say bye. And then I woke up. And that was it. And I'm pretty sure Morrissey started playing the drums because Josh Martinez is a drummer. And it's just, it's all connected. So that was my dream last night. I hope it was somewhat interesting. It is when you're in the dream. You know, once I talk about it, I realize it doesn't sound as exciting. So for that, I apologize. No, I didn't. Tune in next time for another tale of dreams from DJ Mighty Iris. This was the Dream Warrior Podcast. Farewell, mere mortals. I mean, adieu. Spent the day in bed. It's a consolation when 